Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your brother and friend, Manu Albert. In today's lesson, we'll be talking about biology and response. Okay, so what is response? It is the ability for us to detect to stimuli. There are two systems in our body which helps us to respond to stimuli. We have the endocrine system, we have also the central nervous system. But today we're not going to talk about the central nervous system, but we'll look at the endocrine system. So our diagram here shows us parts of the what? The glands. Because under endocrine system, we have got glands which produces hormones, okay? So in our brain, we have the pituitary gland. In our neck, we have the thyroid gland. We have also the pancreas. On top of our kidneys, we have the adrenal gland. We have also the ovaries in females as well as the testes in what? Males. So now what are the function of these glands? The pituitary gland, it is also known as the master gland. Why? Because it produces hormones which stimulate these other glands for them to do what? To function. Meaning, without this producing these hormones, the other gland in our body cannot do what? Work. But there are three main uh, hormones that we have to know which comes from the what? Pituitary gland. We have uh, the fish, tish, as well as A, D, H. Okay, so the fish it is follicle stimulating hormone found in women. This helps women to produce what? Ovaries. We have also the tish. The tish is known as what? Thyroid stimulating hormone. Meaning it produces a hormone which stimulates the thyroid gland to do what? To function. We have also the ADH. The ADH it is antidiuretic hormone. It controls the amount of water or the water potential in our what? In our body. So when your body has got little amount of water, the ADH is produced and it goes in the kidneys, in the part known as the nephron, and it absorbs all the water back into the what? Into the body. Those are three major hormones that we have to know which comes from the pituitary gland. In our neck, we have the thyroid gland. This thyroid gland produces a hormone known as what? Thyroxine. Okay, thyroxine. This thyroxine, it is also referred to as the growth gland. It is responsible for our growth, the increase in mass, the increase in size, okay? So, little excess, or, so little producing of thyroxine results into what? Dwarfism. It results into people becoming what? Short. And then excess production of thyroxine gland, it results into what? Giantism, like my brother John, he's very tall, okay? And it means that he has a high access of what? Thyroxine, growth hormone. Pancreas, the pancreas has got the part known as what? Insulate of Langerhans. Insulate of Langerhans has got two cells. We have the alpha cell and the what? Beta cell. Okay, so the alpha cell produces a gland known as what? Glucagon. Okay, and then the beta cell produces a hormone known as what? Insulin. So these two hormones work the opposite. When you eat watumpa, you discover that you have high excess of what? Energy. Now your body will not use all that energy, it will use some. Meaning that excess energy, it will be converted by the insulin to what? Glycogen. High excess of energy will be converted by the insulin into what? Glycogen. And it will be stored where? In your muscles. Okay? Now, maybe you are fasting. Okay? And then you, you haven't eaten, or like the economy is hard right now. You haven't eaten. It will mean that that uh, stored energy, after your body has used up all the energy that it had, this stored on energy, it will be again converted by the glycogen back to what? To glucose. Meaning, you are going to have what? Energy as well. And then we have also another hormone, which is known, which, is, which comes from the adrenal gland. This hormone is known as what? Adrenaline. Adrenaline sometimes it is referred to as the 3F. Meaning, fight, flight, and what? Fright. Okay? Meaning, you, you being afraid, you Character, tackling and the fighting. The hormone, this one, it is also referred, the adrenaline is also referred to as emotional hormone. For you to laugh, for you to, to get angry, for you to run, for you to fight back, if you are being controlled, or for you to respond to all that, it is being controlled by the what? Adrenaline, coming from the adrenal gland. In women, we've got the ovaries. 
and in male we've got the testes, okay? So these two have got two different, uh, I mean three different hormones. In females we've got two, meaning progesterone and the estrogen. In male we've got the testosterone, okay? So the testosterone, it is a hormone, and uh, these other two found in women, these are hormones which gives sexual characters. Okay, sexual what? Characters. Maybe you are being touched or romanced by your partner. So for you to be able to respond to all that, you are being controlled by the two hormones which are produced. And it is uh, generally saying that females have got high uh, temperature, meaning they have got high feelings, okay? It is because they have got two hormones which gives them sexual, uh, secondary sexual what? Characters. Whereas in male, there is one. So all these, it gives them what? It, the sexual characters. Well, it has been a brother and friend, Emmanuel Albert. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. If not, you can visit us uh, at Porter's house in Matero near Family Bank, or you can contact us at uh, on 077 Well, don't forget to like and subscribe.